Ho oh guys, Blue Jerry speaking. Will OJ Peace be at episode number 1305? Now, the original file of that episode of OJ be at episode number 1305 was unfortunately deleted, and I was going to um, upload it to YouTube, and unfortunately, uh, the file wasn't uploaded to YouTube. But, the show must go on, but today, we're going to be acting to Million Dollar Sharks, Season 3, Episode 3. We had this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. One turn of a single car could be worth one million dollars. From Campbell, California, it's Million Dollar Show. Wow. And now, here's your host, Star Million Dollar Shark, Alex Barrett. Thank you, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good evening to all of you. Thank you. Thank you for your strides and welcome to Million Dollar Sharks, where one turn of a single card could make you a millionaire. Oh, let's open up the board and get to the cards. Wow. Take a look at those beautiful cards over there. The red cards will be played by one player and the blue cards will be played by another. And now let's meet our very first two card sharks for the evening. It's Mitchell Hill Jr. and Noah Longmire. Welcome back, players. These contestants were here on a previous season before. They're back here again. Mitchell Hill Jr., welcome back. Thanks for having me again, bro. Anytime. Tell us a little about yourself. Very well. So I'm from McDonough, which is just 30 minutes south from Atlanta. Uh, I am a former bookseller and also a former data entry clerk. My hobbies include playing sports, playing video games, and playing music. And that's it. What type of sports do you like to play? Basketball. Basketball yeah, is good. I nah. always played basketball in high school, but... Yeah, stupid idea. You have a buff card. For those of you who don't know what a buff card is, it's pretty much a doctor's card to play physical sports. Glad to have you here, Mitchell. All the way from Crosby, Thanks. Mississippi. You're welcome. Noah Longmire. Hello, Alex. Hello, Noah. How you doing? I'm doing good. That's good. I'm doing good, too. Remind us a little about yourself, Noah. No longer 22 years old, Crosby, Mississippi, game show fan. All of us are game show fans. I'm more of into the racing type of... I still like game shows, but now I'm into the racing business. You know something? It, he told me about this um, days ago, like three months ago, which is very exciting to you on. Glad to have all two... Well... Both of you here, there's only two people here. Aside yeah, from still. Of our audience members. You guys ready to turn the cards? Yeah! Yes. All right, Let's Mitchell go. Hill gets the first question of the high low toss up question, and this is your question. We asked 100 men, Mitchell, can a man be happy if you never have children? How many 100 men said yes, they could be happy if they never have children? Well. To be honest, I bet some of the, I bet uh, some of those men is probably is me. To be honest with you, because I don't see myself having a relationship anyway. So, it can be a high number, but some people might feel some type of way of it. So, if I have to pick, I would have to say sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Uh, Herman said that a man could be happy if he never has children. No. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in the direction of Mitchell, and I'm just going to say a little bit lower than that. You're going to say it's a little bit lower. Being, yeah. a, being a father has a yeah. lot of responsibilities. It sure has. It sure yes, has. exactly. The thing is, it makes more sense. So, there you go. Children are men said a man can be happy if he never has children is 81. It's not wow. lower. It's a lot higher. Mitchell gets wow. control of the cards. Your opening card is a seven. Well, uh, can I change it? Yes, you can. That's why I want to do. Change the card. An eight. Not Ooh. a good change. 
Okay, I would say lower. Lower than an eight, the queen. Wow. Oh, you go back to your base card, which is an eight, and Noah gets a free chance at his card, which is also an eight. Jeez. Ooh, tough card. Uh, I'm going to have to go higher on this one, Alex. Against the odds, and it paid off. It's a nine. I'm going to freeze. He's going to freeze on that nine. That becomes his new base card. And Noah will get the first question, his first question of the high low toss-up question. We asked, what are married men? Did you believe their wife if she told him that she's a being from outer space? How many of what her married men said they believed their wife if she told them she is a being from outer space? Hang on. Get a pair of glasses. It's not there, okay? Continue on. Oh boy. Well, that one's pretty tough. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, that could probably be true, but um, I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna have to go in the middle and say fifty on this one, Alex. You're gonna say fifty, Mitchell? Do you think it's higher or lower than fifty? Higher for this one, I would say higher. You're gonna say it's higher, and the actual answer is it's wow. lower. 17. Wow. Not higher. Noah gets control of his cards, and he has that nine. What are you gonna do with that nine? Play or change? I'll change it. I'll change it, Alex. Changing that nine to another. Wow. Jeez. These cards. Jeez. Another nine. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. These cards are not doing us good tonight. Lower. Lower than a nine. A dude. Wow. Higher. Higher. A jack. Lower. For the first game of the match, lower a ten. Wow. All he needs is one more game to win the entire match in six thousand dollars, and he'll get to play the money card. So Mitchell, this is make or break for you, and we're gonna take time up for right now to set things up for game number two. Welcome back to Million Dollar Sharks. We are about to deal out the cards for game number two. Be right back. Sorry about that, everyone. I just came back from uh, some Robin Eyes problems, but I got computer glasses on. I forgot to wear them. So let's continue on. As you can see on your screen over here, and Mitchell will get the first question of the high low toss of question for game number two. We asked 100 people, would you heave an astrologer's warning? How many people said yes, they would heave an astrologer's warning? Uh, um, 43. 43. 43 out of 100 people say they heave an astrologer's warning. Wow. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to have to go to this one this one. Yeah, I don't really know much about it, but wow. I'm going to say a bit higher on that one, Alex. You're going to say it's a bit higher. The average number of people say they heave an astrologer's warning is 49. It is slightly higher wow. than six. Had you would have gotten it on your own, you would have got a bonus of five thousand dollars. Let's wow. see your opening card. It's a four. The four. Um, I'll go higher. Higher than the four. The king. Wow. Lower. Lower. An eight. I'll freeze. He needs two cards to win the match in six thousand dollars. Noah, this question belongs to you. We asked what are marriage counselors? Would there be fewer divorces if all couples were required to live together before they got married? How many marriage counselors said yes? Okay, uh, I'm gonna say probably 45. 45 of the 100 marriage counselors said they would be fewer divorces if all couples were required to live together before they got married. Mitchell. Lower than 45. I'm gonna say lower than 45. You're gonna say lower Yay. than 45. The actual number of marriage counselors said ow. I bit my tongue. You okay over there, Alex? Ugh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't call that a funny oh. joke, but wow. Continue on. It's gonna be one of those days, folks. Wow. What's the answer? It's 40 by 5. It's lower. Oh. Ugh. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm 
<laughs> wow. It's a nine. Wow. Uh, can I change it? Yes. That's what I want to do. Change it. It's a queen. Wow. Lower, Lower than the queen of three. Higher. Higher than a three and nine. Freaks. Both contestants need two cards to win the game. Wow. And Mitchell, you will get this next question. We asked 100 police women, have you wrestled a suspect to the ground? How many police women said yes, they wrestled a suspect to the ground? But who for these police officers using force, no matter the gender? But uh, I also and but I also think that it, and some that some types of force is just too excessive. So and also I know these women can be officers too, but I have uh, there's a show called Cops and and out of the episodes that I've seen, I don't even watch it anymore out of that. You know, Luke's a cool guy if he watches for you, um cops for you, continue on. Those that I've seen with female cops, I hardly see them wrestling anybody to the ground. Wow. So it's going. It's so I'm probably going to be in the middle to a little bit uh, higher than fifty, but I would say I would say fifty two. Fifty two. Out of a hundred police women say they wrestled a suspect to the ground. Noah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of agree with Mitchell on this one because yeah. Uh, as for the number, I'm going to go higher. You're going to go higher. Wow. The actual number of police women say they wrestled a suspect to the ground is 72. It is higher. Wow. <laughs> you can control the cards, Noah, and you have an 8. What do you want to do with that ugly snowman? I'll change it. Changing that snowman to a deuce. Wow. Higher, higher a 7. For six thousand dollars in a match, higher a nine. Wow! Good job, Nori. You are going to be playing the big money card where you can turn that six thousand dollars into a few million dollars. And Mitchell, we got some nice prizes for you guys today. Thank you for playing million dollars cards. Anytime, Noah. How does it feel winning the game? Then you finally got your chance. Wow. Oh, man. What are you going to do if you win a lot of money tonight? If I win a lot of money, and I'm hoping it's a million, uh, mm -hmm. I would put it on a down payment on a house and probably buy myself a car. Oh, you got, mm -hmm. that's a very nice thought. You know something? I should do a YTP or YouTube random video based on that. Uh, everything planned and ready to go. You, did you cut the big money cards? Mm hmm Yep. All right, let's open up the board and get to the money card. All right, with the six thousand dollars you have, you're going to be wow. up and making high low wages. You're going to start off with the bottom one with six thousand dollars. Three cards on the bottom line. Your decision how you bet them. Move up to the second one. We'll give you another fourteen thousand five hundred dollars and three board cards. Another bet's fifty dollars up five hundred dollars, and you bet in five hundred dollar increments. Wow, you fun. Big bet, wow. Where you must bet at least half of your dollars, or you can cash out your winnings, and if you get a duplicate. You don't lose, we just carry a bet over. Do you have any questions for me? Wow. No, I do not. Here's six thousand dollars. Like I said earlier, you can turn that into a cool million dollars if you play your cards right. Your opening card is a ten. Wow. I'll take it. It's a seven. Wow. Ooh, yikes. Okay, slightly better. Uh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go half of that three thousand higher. That's a big bet on a seven. Wow. That's actually kind of a nasty card. Did you say higher? Yeah. Yeah, I said three thousand higher. Three thousand wow. dollars higher than a seven. A king. Nine wow. Nine thousand dollars and a king. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go everything lower. Everything lower than the king at nine. Eighteen thousand dollars and a nine. Ooh. Ooh. Another big bet on a card like that. Yeah. $500. Lower than a nine. Oh, an ace. 
Wow. You have a 10,500 runs, but guess what? You have a terrific card you can't lose. We'll give you another 14,500, taking it to 25,000 runs. And Noah, what are you going to bet on this ace? Everything's well worth it. Of course. It's a six. Wow. 15,000 runs in a six, and you can change it if you don't want it. Everything Wow. Six. I do want to remind you there's only four, four cards that can hurt you. Five, four, three, and a two. Fifty thousand dollars. I hope this worked out for you. This is for a hundred thousand dollars of the tire. Wow. I guess I spoke too soon. Wow. Uh, Yay. It's a four. Yes. Oh. It's a four. Yes. Man, that was a gutsy move, Noah. Yes. You're gonna get up, but you had a great time here regardless. Yeah. I did, Alex. Thank you for having me again. we got some nice prime gifts for you backstage. Thank you for turning the cards on Million Dollar Sharks. Anytime. And that's all the time we have here on Million Dollar Sharks. Tune in next week where our two new contestants facing each other off to compete to play for one million dollars. This is Alex Paris reminding you to please stay in New Year's Sharks. Good day and good night from all of us here on Million Dollar Sharks. Wow. So that was Million Dollar Sharks Season 3, Episode 3. What I think about this episode, I think it was a um, gusty move in that episode. But, I was so surprised that it would have been me, nor is Andrew in this episode. But, my regrets. That was LGBS episode number 1305. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned next one's going to be um, Spin for a Million, Season 3, Episode 3. Till next time, so join us for Bobby's baby. We can borrow the reality going to so to it out. See ya. Given on to me this life I'll never take for granted. And given all the time I failed to really understand it I never sought to meet the maker of reality The one who gave the life that which is always happening But I tried All the time Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.